Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Kian. Here's the Kimu. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a custom video player inside the Figma without using any plugin, thanks to the new feature that the Figma has been released a while ago. In this video, you're going to learn how to import a video inside the Figma and how you can create the video controllers using the prototyping tools inside the Figma. So get sure to watch this video until the end. Now, without further ado, let's get started. First thing that I need to mention here in this video is that this feature that you can add some video inside the prototyping tool is not kind of a new feature. We had this long time ago in the Adobe XD and it's not really surprising that they bring it here in the Figma as well. But it's really cool to have such a possibility. Now let's see how we can import a video inside the Figma. The very first thing that we need to do is to create one shape, like a rectangle. And then from here in the properties panel, the fill section, when we click on the background color, and then we click on the background color type, we can see that now we have video option. When we select on the video, then we will see that all right now we have this placeholder for the video. And when we hover on uh, this pathfinder, uh, inside the panel, we can actually see this choose video option. I click on this and then select the video file that I want to show it in my prototype. And here we go. The video has been imported inside the Figma file. Now, if I create a frame and then run my prototype, we're going to see that the video is going to play inside the prototype, which is really cool. The other simple way to do this is to simply drag and drop your video file inside the Figma canvas, which is going to work as well. Having video and playing video inside the prototype is not the only feature that we have it in the uh, latest uh, release in the Figma. There are some changes in the prototype tools that uh, kind of give us this possibility to create our own custom player uh, components such as play and stop button. Let's see how it's working. Before we start to work with the prototyping tools, I would like to create my uh, component uh, that I would like to use later on in this video player, which is going to be a button. In order to do so, I would like to import first some icons that I want to uh, use inside the button. So I'm going to use the Fedora icon plugin in order to import a play icon, pause icon, and uh, maybe mute and unmute icon. Now let's organize our canvas to see all the icons better. I would like to rename all the icons and add a icon slash at the beginning of the name of all these uh, frames and icons. To do so, I'm gonna select all the icons and then use the combination key control R in order to rename all the layers at the same time. I would like to have icon at the beginning of each name of each layer. So I write icon here and then a slash and then click here on the current name, which will automatically bring the name of the current layer and use it there. And now I click on the rename and as you can see, all the icons layers has uh, this icon slash at the beginning of their name. Then I will click on this uh, icon on top, which is going to kind of create the component for me. But I will choose the second option, which is going to be the create multiple components. Now, if I go to asset panel, I would see that I have this uh, icon accordion and which uh, and when I open this one, uh, I will have access to all the icons that we already imported in the Figma. Now that our ic icons are ready, the next step is going to be creating the button. So I'm going to create one instance of one of the icons here by dragging and drop it from the asset panel to my canvas and then apply auto layout on this frame by using the combination key shift A. Let's rename the frame that we made to something more proper and then let's add some background color. Now I'm going to create different state for this button and use the prototyping tools in order to create the hover effect for this button. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to convert this uh, frame to a component by clicking on this icon here, create a component or combination key control alt K. In the next step, I'm going to create a new variant from this uh, component by clicking on this icon here that has this plus uh, in the middle of it. So 
click on it and then I would have a different variant. Now I'm going to select on the whole component that we uh, created, the component set, and I will see that in the properties panel I have one property that I made. I will change it to state, let's rename it to state, and then let's select the first one that we have and let's get sure that the name is default and the second one I would rename it to hover. Now I would like to kind of change the background color of the hover estate to something a bit lighter. And at the end, let's add some border radius to both variants, around 12 pixels. At the end, I would like to have this possibility when I create an instance of the button, I have this possibility to change the icon easily uh, from uh, the properties panel of the button instance. Let's click on the button component that we made and then uh, click on this plus here and here we can create a new property instance swap. Uh, the instance name I would like to rename it to icon and from value I would like to uh, switch to one of the icons. And here in this step, I can also define some preferred uh, value that I can select later on. So let's select all the icons that we have. And now I click on the create the property. The only thing I have to do is I can click on one of uh, this, um, let's say uh, icons inside the buttons and both variants, and then click on uh, apply instance swap uh, property here. Uh, in the property panel and select the icon uh, property that we made for the button or the parent uh, component. Now if I select the button itself I can easily switch between different icons here. Now let's go to the prototyping panel, select the, uh, the first variant of the button and then connect it to the second one which is the hover state and from the interaction detail panel, I would select the interaction type to while hovering. Now let's create a frame around the instance of button that we made and play the prototype to check if the hovering effect is working well or not. As you can see, when I'm hovering the button, we have this lighter background appears there, which is kind of showing that the hover effect is working pretty well. Now let's add the controller of the video here by creating four instance of the button and position it in a proper way. I would have four controller, one for playing the uh, video, which is going to be the, which is going to have the play icon second one is going to have the pause icon which I already have and the third one is going to have uh, mute and unmute is going to be the last controller that we would have now in the last step uh, what i'm going to do is i'm going to create one uh, frame here in order to place my player inside it and then select all the elements that we made and bring it inside the uh, frame. And then I'm gonna select the play button and uh, also open my prototyping panel and connect the play button to video that I'm gonna play. And then here from interaction details, uh, I will set the interaction uh, type to unclick and beneath that I have this option to uh, define the action that when user interact with it, what will happen. So I will set it to play and pause video. And as you can see, we have four more options that are new feature of the Figma. Here uh, in next to it, actually we have uh, this uh, drop down menu, which we can select the video that we want to impact by clicking on this element. Uh, in this case, the rectangle one is uh, the place that our video is gonna be played. And then, Mm, the next uh, property is going to be uh, the uh, kind of the type of the action. So uh, 
uh, we can have both at the same time by selecting the toggle like play and pause using the same element or I can just uh, choose the play only which means now this play button if the user click on it uh, it will only play the video let's do the same process for the next controller which is the pause uh, button and here from the um, this action type I will choose the pause only I will do the same similar process for the other two controllers uh, instead of choosing the play and pause video I will uh, select the uh, mute and unmute video and here for the first controller I would uh, choose the unmute only and for the next controller I do the same process and choose here from the action type to uh, mute only now it's time to run the prototype and see how the controllers are working now, as you can see when we run the prototype the video is playing automatically and then when we click on the pause button the video will be paused and when we click on the play the play uh, the video will be played uh, these two buttons are also working but right now my video doesn't have any sound that's why we cannot check it here and that was everything about this video uh, as you can see right now we have this possibility in the figma to create our own uh, user interface for uh, a video player with its own uh, controller with the style that we would like to have and that's pretty cool i hope you learned something new in this video if it was so please don't forget to subscribe to my channel like this video leave a comment below and see you in the next video let's learn together mm -hmm.